firstly, what we're saying in digital ecosystems is this whole concept of blurring of industry lines. The other thing I think we'll continue to see is the whole concept of payments being essentially invisible within digital ecosystems. So it's more about enabling um, commerce as opposed to being about the payments itself. The third thing I think we'll see as well is with APIs and with the emergence of APIs, unbundling of financial services and having these financial services being delivered into digital ecosystems. The new age of financial services is something about lifestyle banking, which is about emotions, about positive emotions of the customers, not really about providing the money services, but about providing the services that is helping you getting the most out of your money, money capability, about your credits, or, or savings, so it's it's really about how you spend your money and getting the most out of it, the best positive emotion. I think we need to be led by the customers, and the customers will tell us where they want um, support and, and you know, sort of how far we can go with this ecosystem. Initially, what I expect to happen is that the ecosystem will be clustered around financial services, but then it's really up to the, um, the the banks and the financial services providers to work out where else they can add value to the customers' lives, and then bring in those products and services as the customer would like. Yeah, I think there's three things banks really need to know how to do well in order to be able to play seriously in this ecosystem space and really be able to partner with fintech companies. The first one is really being able to actually identify what are the things that are of interest. Scanning the horizons, looking at what's out there, identifying who are the fintechs that could possibly add value to their services and how can they work with them. The second one is about culture. Having a more entrepreneurial, willing to take risk culture, willing to fail at times. And the third one is really around understanding how to work with fintechs. It can't be traditional waterfall programming. It has to be around agility, flexibility, really a different mindset, a different set of skills. They're the key to how actually really to unlock the potential. I think what we're really going to expect to see is that the customers are owned by kind of one bank and they go through that one bank to then access lots and lots of different products, maybe from end product providers. And in our case, as a wealth manager, we'll probably see ourselves as one of those end product providers. The initial customer relationship will be with a particular bank or a particular ecosystem, and then we'll be one of those underlying features of that ecosystem. What excites me the most is if you see this entire picture as a whole, what will come um, in the end, and I believe the end is inevitable, is that there will be a new form of rebundler, a new over-the-top money aggregator platform with read-write access and will connect you to everything money and will connect all the new fintechs and old incumbents into one interface and that company will do this interface so well and it will not help the shackle of legacy banking uh, whether it's the regula regulatory restrictions and constraints or the legacy infrastructure they have uh, to build basically the next Spotify for money. So I think the most interesting move is that there seems to be a real land grab for someone to own the marketplace um, type idea. The winning proposition will be the one that is, um, well, f firstly, it's a numbers game, so it's the proposition that really gets a million, two million customers at least to engage with the marketplace, because you've only got a market if you've got supply and, and demand. Um, so I think the supply side's easy, the, the, the tricky bit is how do you get people to change their behaviours and uh, engage with uh, a new type of marketplace that they've never conceived of before, which is an interesting challenge. So of course, big tech is in a very great position to intermediate and deliver that value and, and be a winner in this ecosystem, but not on a standalone basis, you know, because these services are also based on the rails of financial services. So I think it's a lot more going to be about partnership and collaboration between not only tech, as in big tech and fintech, but banks and big tech players as well.